can do this. Remember your training. Keep her straight. Keep her level. Don't do any hand jazz. Yeah, Diggs. Got it. You sure? She breaks above 100, so don't... Diggs, your gloves reading my brain waves. I gotta keep my mind blank. Oh, right, right. Breaking through a giant miasma wall. Don't need me yet. <laughs> She's on the other side of this wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't quitting. We'll find a little brother. We'll find her. My asthma's kicking up. Let's get back to town. Fix this glove. Diggs, look. And my asthma sure is angry, swirling like a whirlpool. Beautiful. Don't go near it. I humbly accept this esteemed peace prize, not for myself, but for the pioneering spirit of all Americans. We have righted the wrongs of our forefathers, healed the scars that divided us, put an end to hunger and war. A renaissance for humankind, a great stability. Now, let us work together to share this American paradise with the whole world. Gotta find Mama. Sick of being alone. Just want some family. What? You got your family right here. Me? Yeah, but Diggs, you're a... Oh, what? Uh... <sighs> Kick-ass brother. The best brother I could ever have. Ah, <laughs> you know it. I see it, but I don't believe it. What are those things? Uh, frogs. Frogs walking on two legs, murdering people. Those are not animals. Not people, neither. They're monsters. Goddamn monsters. What are they doing with... Wait. Hold on. That's the Vodder family. Please! deal with these assholes. We don't fight anything we don't understand. We're going home. Hey, you are aware the only way home is through them? Shit. Hey, get Tiger tough, little brother. We about to throw down. Dicks, these things are freaking huge. Hey, you want to get back to town? Pull that trigger. Tiger tough. Come on. Another one bites the rust. You're a machine, Diggs. Shit, they're running for cover. Partial cover. Shoot them anyway. You might get lucky. Nah, luck never liked me that much. <laughs> 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 
You alive? Yeah, I think so. You? Rocking and rolling, we made these boys extinct. I don't think so. Look! Find some cover when the time's right, flank them! Looking for their buddies. Well, we just killed their buddies. We gotta get back to town now. Hate seeing the Vodder family rotten out here. Damn frog monsters. Is this some sick joke? Then watch your anger, Elvis. We should go. We gotta get these bodies back home. Yeah, we'll come back later. You don't know what's making the miasma angry, do you? To know what's making the miasma angry, you have to know what miasma is, what it really is. And you have no idea. At least you know how to fear it. That's good. You see it turn air into poison, nature into nightmares, frogs into monsters. You know you can't escape it. The miasma surrounds your town like an ocean surrounds a lonely island. And it's spreading across America, twisting this once great nation into a lethal wasteland. So don't leave. Stay safe and sedentary. The dull, colorless mining settlement you've lived in your whole life. Put your head down. Work hard. Provide the gold that feeds America's rulers, the first family. And pray the miasma's anger doesn't wipe your town off the map. No one here is brave enough to conquer their fear or create their destiny, except you, Elvis. With your big brother, Diggs, and years of hard work, you've harnessed your glove's power, and now you want to find me. But you still don't know what it really is, do you? I could tell you, but revelations must be earned. So a secret, it shall remain. Maybe in the future, you will be strong enough to break through the wall and find me. And if you do, maybe I will tell you my secret. But we both know you'll die along the way. Because between me and you, lies the miasma. We gotta tell the mayor what we saw. The mayor? What's he gonna do against frog monsters? He can't hold a gun. Can't even run. He's been running this town for 80 years. He'll know what to do. Oh, sedentary. Home sweet home. You saved my ass back there, big man. Ah, you got the magic, bro. All I got is strength, wisdom, charisma, good looks. Okay, let's talk to the old man. Elvis, the boy with the magic glove. Mayor, listen, this is gonna sound crazy, but we saw monsters. Real monsters. What's with the hunched shoulders and sour puss, boy? I keep telling you. If you don't project power, someone's gonna take it from you. You heard what he said, old man. Monsters, right outside time. I'm talking to the smart one, you tin brain nit. Okay, say that again. <laughs> Diggs, calm down. <sighs> Trash can. What's he yakking about, monsters? 
That's what they were. Big, nasty frog things. They killed the Vodder family. Damn near killed us, too. Loads of them are coming for the town. You gotta do something. Mm -hmm. I knew this day was coming. What you mean you knew? It was the last full moon. The mayor of Pikeville was screaming at me on the radio about some invasion. I sent the sheriff out there for a look-see. He said the townspeople were gone. And the streets were covered with giant sacks of eggs. Frog eggs. We can't let that happen here. You can get the town to fight. This is a mining town. We mine. No, the miasma's changing. Behaving differently. It's more important than ever. You get through that wall and find your mama, Bamati. She's the only one who might know what's going on. Like it or not, Elvis, the fate of our town is in your fingers. Yeah, about my fingers. The glove's dead. I blew out the power core. Well, go find a new power core and come back here pronto. I'll take another look at your mama's data drive. See if she left any clues on how to keep that glove from breaking. And one more thing. Do not leave town. It's too dangerous out there. Only one place to get a power core. Mother's in here. Fat chance, little brother. After the shit, you boom. Fate of the town's in my fingers, right? How can she say no? Welcome to Original Bertha's General Store. I'm Bertha Jr. Elvis? Oh, hell no. Get out. Bertha, please. All we need is one fresh power core. You blew up my car. Last damn car in town. You know how expensive that thing was? I do, and I'm sorry. My glove misfired, and... Uh, listen, we're on official mayor business. I don't care if the mayor comes here and karate chops me with his tiny arms. Supplies are limited. I got merchants disappearing in the miasma. First family's giving me shittier gear. But if you happen to find me a torque jammer, maybe I'll forgive you for killing my car and give you a power core. Listen, we don't have... Uh, I got your torque jammer, Bertha. <laughs> oh, yeah? It's right out back. And, uh, Bertha, while I'm out there, I'll be holding on to the memory of your beautiful face. Okay. Get me that gem and the core is yours. Better hurry. It's my last one. What the hell are you telling her? Grabbing a torque jam is easy, little brother. Just gotta know where to grab. The border's been picked clean. Screw the border. We can go to Gator Zone. Your call. I'm going to Gator Zone. Tiger Tough. Come on. Let's make this quick. I got a bad feeling about Gator Zone. Well, I got a good one. You want to fix your glove, right? Let's get Bertha what she wants. Sure, searching the wasteland for a tool the size of my hand. No sweat. Ah, I got your back, you got mine. Everything's easy peasy. New entry. Local fauna mutating twice as fast as last week. Baxter, you shouldn't be out here. The miasma's spreading. I need to find out why. Find out in town. It's bad news out here. You're not my dad, Elvis. You're my friend. We're still friends, right? This place is evil, Baxter. And you're too... Full of light? I'm not full of light. Seriously, I don't want some creature dragging you back to its hole to, like, turn you into soup or some shit. Aw, sounds like you're sweet on me. Is he sweet on me, Diggs? Yeah. No. Dude. What? It's cool, I get it. Who has time for friends when you're looking for family? Oh, bite me. You're my best friend, Baxter. I've just been busy. But we'll hang soon, I promise. My asthma's been acting weird. No shit. I don't want to brag, but I am the greatest scientist in town. Only scientist in town. You don't get it. It's making monsters. We saw him murder the Vodder family. What? Shit. I should have saw this coming. The last few weeks, there's been this hyper spike in the miasma's flux signals. Like it's getting... Angry? Exactly. 
Someone, something, is pissing it off. Screw bad news. I need some good news. You got me? Ah, uh, well, nobody killed me today. Wow. Real blast of sunshine, Elvis. You know the difference between me and you. I got a metal glove and you got a metal arm. <laughs> Cute. Difference is, I know who I am, but you're looking for someone to tell you who you are. Okay. Tell me who I am. I can't. You are who you want to be. You choose. <laughs> wow, that's some deep shit, Baxter. I'm gonna ponder that. Good seeing you, Elvis. Don't get lost out there. Ah, oh, shit. More frog monsters. Keep cool, little brother. Remember hunting coyotes with mama? If we sneak up on the bastards, we can ambush them. That gives us the first move. What if they see us? Where's Guru? <laughs> Two bodies frozen in my asthma. They look super old. Calcified. You think they were originals? Yeah, one last hug before the collapse took their souls. Brings a tear to your eye. Mm. Dear Diary, seven years ago, me and Goth Boy had our first date at Gator's home. Weird place for a date, I know, but perfect for a pair of freaks like us. We come back every year on the anniversary of that first date. This is our happy place, but it feels like this time might be our last time. With Mama gone, our friends gone, the storm spreading, bars empty. It's just us now, and the only place we have left. Now, golf boy's coughing and... That old timer needs help. We'll sneak in and ambush these bastards. What the hell are you doing? What do you want from me? Adios, amigo! A toast. Let's check on the old man. He has saved my life. Hey, you're Bamati's boy, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. You better get back to sedentary. Like that, safer? Your ma used to protect our town. You know that? Without her magic, I don't know how we're gonna keep this evil from killing us. As sure as night turns to day, old man, we're gonna find her. Yeah? Then you're gonna need my backpack. I got a frag grenade and medipod inside. Hmm. Guess you're saving our lives. <laughs> Much obliged, old time. Mark and Sandy Graham proudly stand in the mouth of their family business, Gator Zone. They took the once floundering local attraction and turned it into a booming business. The Grams believe their good fortune is a direct result of the great stability that gives people more time to spend on the things they love. Local wildlife has also returned to the area. <laughs> Look at those pelicans fly. We hope you make a return visit to this family favorite, Gator Zone. The originals fought these monsters in a great war. History repeats, I guess. God damn! There's no end to these bastards! We gotta take them down. Hold on now. I see a torque jammer. We can't fix your glove without it. Ah, time to shine, little brother. You all right? Yeah, barely. You? Shit, I can do this all week. How about we grab this thing and go home, okay? Gotta have me some of that. Huh, you must be this tall to ride. Looks like you're sitting this one out, Elvis. Takes <laughs> you were right. A torque jammer. 
Rusty, but it'll do. Let's get back to Bertha. Let's get this torque jammer to Bertha. You did good, little bro. Like I always say, he who dares, wins, wins, wins. Thanks, Diggs. You're skipping again. Here's that torque jammer, Bertha. Just like we promised. Hey, hey. Took you a while. Thought somebody killed you, boys. And me and Elvis, we don't kill easily. Deal's a deal. Here's a power core. Don't blow yourself up now. Rock and roll. Say, where'd you get that glove? My mama gave it to me. Wanna sell it? Not in a hundred lifetimes. Thanks, Bertha. Thank you right back. Store's open to you boys anytime. That core working? Like a dream. Let's get back to the mayor. Collection day's coming. Hate these first family bastards. Well, to survive, the town had to make a deal with the devil. Well, these devils are squeezing the town dry. Wish I could do something about it. Got that glove working, boy? It's working, man. You're not a second too soon. Gator Zone's crawling with monsters. Why the hell were you in Gator Zone? This brainless pot dragon? Uh, brains is all you got, Jarhead. <clears throat> Elvis, I hit the jackpot. Found an encrypted file in your mama's data drive. It's all about increasing your glove's power. Hell yeah. What's it say? Well, that's the problem. I can't understand a goddamn lick of it. Read this. To heal the miasma and pay our debts, absorb the anger of a wild vortex. In return, the miasma gives an editor a reward. Power for your glove and balance restored. Some kind of riddle. You know what she means? Heal the miasma. Editor? I don't get it. Me neither. What's a vortex? Damn it. Trying to figure out miasma is like punching a tornado. Tornado? Hold on. Near the wall, we saw some angry miasma. Yeah, swirling around. Like a vortex. The glove was pulling me to it like it wanted to grab it. Maybe it did. You should go investigate. Could be the key to everything. But the frogs are out there too. Could be dangerous. Want to see danger? You looking at him, old man? Elvis, clock's ticking. Let's go. Yeah, cool. We got this, Mayor. Godspeed. I'll keep digging through these files for more clues. Bodies are gone. Frogs must have come back to finish the meal. Nasty. All right. There's the vortex. Oh, and more frog monsters. Looking twice as nasty as the last ones. No turning back. Time to kick some ass. You read my mind. Just have to sneak up behind them. Jen. Jen, you there? It's Tommy. Hope to hell you get this message in time. I got the kids. They're shaking up, but doing okay. Annie's asking where mommy is. I'm telling her you're coming soon. And, uh, well, Max is completely obsessed with his toys, so good call on those. Listen, don't come to the bridge. Police are blocking the roads because, well, there are no roads. Meet me back at your uncle's place. Kids are safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, just one more thing. I need you... Think I won that war. You, my friend, are pure dynamite. You all right, little brother? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I'm I'm all right.
glove sucked in the particles. Oh, it's buzzing like a beehive. Running a test. Oh, that's crazy. Power's just gone way up. Uh, that mean you got some new tricks up your sleeve? Hell yeah. Not enough to break through the wall, but let's go back and tell them. Taste of this new vortex power. Focus. Breathe. Move the miasma. Oh, how'd you do that? I don't know, but it rocked. It freaking rocked. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, let's go back and tell the mayor I've powered up. We're back in business. If we can find some more vortexes. Your glove gets enough power to blast a hole through that miasma wall. And we find Mama. After all these years. Let's talk to the mayor. Elvis, you catch something from that vortex? My glove's got this new power. Who rips through frogs like a knife through jelly? Well, slap my jar. Fantastic work, Elvis. But can it get you through the wall? He bumped up my total power, but we need more vortexes fast. Ask and ye shall get. I decoded another one of your mama's files. Read here. To break through a wall most vile, heal the miasma once defiled. Each vortex offers a reward most keen. Your glove is ready when blue lights turn orange. Huh. Guess nothing rhymes with orange. Mom and her riddles. <laughs> so when my glove's lights change color, we can bust through the wall and find her. But where are the vortexes? Sadly, she doesn't say. But I bet anything a certain family knows. <laughs> they know all. The first family. Bingo, give the boy a star. I heard reports of a first family airship crashed up north in Happy Hills. If you can reach the ship, grab its data drive, then bring it back here. Hold on, Happy Hills is off limits. Those are your words. Hear me now and hear me clear. The miasma is more than nasty weather. It's an evil energy that has brought America to its knees. Dividing states once united, poisoning communities, pissing on our values. Okay, Mayor, okay. We don't have time to wander. We'll get the data drive. Proud of you, boy. Godspeed. <laughs> That'll be worth it. Happy Hills is on the far side of Widow's Mine. To get to Widow's Mine, we gotta get past the Skywell. Come on. This is way above our pay grade. We need backup. We need help. You got a magic glove and a kick-ass robot. You are the help. It was an accident. Who said anything? I didn't mean to blast Bertha's car. Yeah, yeah, your glove misfired, I know. Widow's Mines is this way, past the Skywell. Finding this ship and steel and its data drive gets us closer to our mother. We're going for it. Roger that. And finding some plastic along the way couldn't hurt neither. Should you boys be out here alone? Uh, look who's talking. What are you, 19? Something like that. <laughs> I'm Jade, gun for hire. And I'm gonna allow you to hire me. Uh, this got nothing to do with you, darling. Go home. Does the robot talk the whole time, or do you have a say? Uh, well, thanks for the offer, Jade. But we work best as a duo. Yeah. Not anymore. You're on the grabber's hit list. Grabbers? It's what the frogs are called. They've been tracking you since that little dust up in Gator Zone. And now, down this path in a perfect little kill box, they're fixing to ambush you. You know about these grabbers? Yeah, I know a lot. Pretty amazing. 
You two go in there, zero chance of survival. You go with me, whole different story. You might even learn something. What do you want in return? It's who I want. The same who you've been trying to find your whole life, Elvis. Bahamati. Uh, okay, who the hell are you? And why are you trying to work my brother? Diggs, hold on. Bahamati's our mother. You know her? I know the legends. I got a problem with the first family, and I need her help. I'll leave it at that. You get me through that miasma wall to meet Bahamati? I'll keep you boys alive along the way. We got a deal? Can't argue with that. You're in. Uh, guys? The wall's that way. First, we're escorting my little brother to Happy Hills. Got a problem with that? The Sky Whale. The originals flew this thing. You know that? No one's flying it now. Father. She's alive, Diggs. We couldn't save her family, but we're saving her. Hold on. These grabbers are slime brutes. Extra tough. Now's not the time. You will call, Elvis. What do we do? Look, another vortex. Elvis, those things are gonna fry your brain. Ah, he's the Miasma Whisperer. He makes sweet love to those things. <laughs> Tell him, bruh. Okay, you two, zip it! Let my silent sniper rifle do its thing. The fuck? Gonna do some exploring. Not tell me. Slit its throat. Drink its juices. Death to human monster. Death to defiler. Take its metal hand. Bunga, defile me. Smell it. Okay. Time to show the boys how it's done. Sleepy death. Don't get up! Or I'll freaking kill you again. Okay, so the pilot's telling us we're making a controlled landing into some water, but I'm looking out the window and I'm seeing a lot of swamp, but not a lot of water. But we've been up here for 16 hours, so anything is better than this. And now they're telling us to get into crash positions. Turning this off. I love you, honey. C can't wait to see you and the kids and laugh about... Big upgrade. Not enough power to bust through the wall, but I'm getting there. Oh. OMG. OMG. We've been stuck on this plane for literally 16 hours. 16! I did not pack enough clonies for this disaster, and I'm freaking the F out! The pilot keeps telling us we can't land because these, these freak electrical storms blow us, and I'm like, no aviation expert, but maybe it's a good idea to be on the ground when there's storms. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. They shut the airflow off. It's super hot, people are yelling, I don't... Oh, what are those, frog eggs? Grabbers lay their eggs in live humans. The eggs hatch, poor souls eaten alive. You could disappear in these caves. Get lost for years and years. It knows mine. Never really, uh, gone in before. I've gone in. Might be some thievers in there. Keep your eyes open. This wasn't a random storm. This was war. And my asthma was the weapon. So why are these screens on? Uh, not picking up any life readings. This place is dead. Beavers, did you guys hear a word I said? Someone marched through here, shooting my asthma out of their glove. After all our years of service, all the quotas met and exceeded, this is who the family sends their collectors? Just...
damn the family to hell. Loyal workers are just insects to them, a row in a spreadsheet to be erased. I hear the editors outside. They're cutting through the door to the control room. God help us all, signing. Talk about a deus ex machina. Elvis, that you? Elvis! Elvis! Diggs! <laughs> Thanks for busting me out. I'm gonna give you something good. Who's this? I'm a grantor of wishes, a purveyor of desire. He's a smuggler, black market shit. Name's Vice. Elvis, your timing's impeccable. I have finally found your holy grail. Chips that can sync with your glove and kick your miasma control into overdrive. You low-down snake. The last chips we brought from you nearly took Elvis's hand off. Hold on, big man. These chips are ancient tech. Pure silicon. UV-free. You've been looking your whole life for these. Okay, show them to me. Thought you said chips. Plural. You must have misheard me. There's an echo in here. Don't be shy. Pop it in this lock. Oh, it's working. <sighs> Another satisfied customer. <laughs> Uh, one more chips? Meet me in sedentary. Guys, hold on. I feel like someone's watching us. How much for that robot? Not for sale, redneck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You made it talk. <laughs> well, I really want it now. We're not bringing trouble. Just passing through. You didn't answer the question, Townie. How much for the robot? You couldn't afford me, sweet tits. Now back off. Well, we ain't got money, so let's just take the robot. Plus your gear. Who's the big man? I am. <laughs> yep. First grabbers, now thievers. Embrace the suck. What happened to not picking up any life readings? Oh, I can't do that shit. Just wanted to sound cool. Seriously? Let's focus. How do we get out of here? Ooh, first family terminal. And it's working. Triple encrypted digs. Sneeze near that thing and it'll turn you inside out. Hmm. I'll take a stab. Interface. Accessing. Interface. Project Immortus led by Dr. Jellica Zen. Clarify. Quark gluon plasma applied to miasma. Burn to 9.8 trillion degrees. Result. Unable to destroy miasma. Failure. Continue. Miasma placed in copper cryostat chamber. Chill to 7 millikelvins. Result. Unable to destroy miasma. Failure. Interface. Denied. Emergency override. First factory access log. Clarify. Tobias Zen transfers factory access codes to Quendal Zen. Continue. Tobias Zen deceased. Quendal Zen reconfigures factory access codes. Continue. Quendal Zen reinforces gamma locks with personal crypto link. Family access denied. Interface. Denied. Emergency override. File corrupted. Records erased. Interface. Accessing. Interface. Family mine. Audio log 065. Hello? Hello? Jimmy, you told me this was the hotline of the family. Well, is it? Shit. Listen, hello? This is the foreman. We're in trouble. We got 20, 25 editors breaking through the homage gate like it's paper and... We... Almighty's with them? Hey! We need help here! We need... Whoa. You understand any of that? Not really. Let's keep moving. Finally made it to Happy Hills. Oh, don't look so happy to me. So, Jade, you're, um, 
You're like a badass and shit, huh? Okay, where's this going? If you're so tough, why do you need Mama's help? I'm... running from the first family. They're bad, bad people. Powerful people. I thought with her muscle, her magic, she could help me fight back, correct their mistakes. We talking the whole family, or someone in particular? Someone. You don't know him. You don't want to know him. Ooh, you sounded like a badass right there. <laughs> Why the long face? We just kicked some fever ass. Hell yeah, we kicked some ass. Elvis and Diggs, the dynamic duo. <laughs> but now we're a trio. Trios are tricky. This mystery girl is trouble, bro. Oh, am I? Come on, big man. We'd be dead without her. More like dead with her. Feels like she's gonna sneak up behind me and yank my dirge cable. Sneak behind you? Come on. You'd smell her coming a mile away. I can't smell, but I take that as a compliment, little brother. <laughs> okay, let's go find that drive. Happy Hills. What are you trying to find here? A crashed airship. First family. Uh, guys, I advise against that. You don't want anything to do with them. Uh, you're just an expert on everything, huh? Mystery girl. Where you come from? Keeping secrets keeps me alive. Rest easy, lady. We ain't no thievers. Forgive me. I lost my glasses somewhere in Utah. I can't tell a crow from a crawfish. You've been to Utah? Been all over this great country. I know her cities, her jungles. I even rub noses with the Inuit tribes of New Jersey. Deacon Cash, at your service. You're in the Badlands now, Deacon. Tough place for an old woman to wander alone. Don't I know it. Damn favors everywhere. I can't get close to the treasure I hid. Oh, what treasure are we talking about? Gold? Oh, no. I've seen what gold does to men's souls. Nope. This treasure is so special, so precious, it cannot be quantified. What is it? Well, help me reclaim it, and you'll see. It's in a locked box inside a nearby police station. The code on the box is 720. Hear that? 720. 720. Got it. Get me my treasure and I'll reward you handsomely. Good luck. Deacon's code worked. Her treasure's inside. Looks like Deacon's treasure is some old journal. Who goes there? Be cool, Deacon. It's us. Ah, oh, fellow travelers. You reclaim my treasure. Thank you kindly. What treasure? It's just some dumb book. <sighs> it's my journal. Filled with memories of my explorations throughout this great country. Cherished remembrance is more precious than gold. <sighs> Although, it seems you three may have an even greater treasure than I. Uh, assault rifles? No. Friendship. The three of you fighting together. Nothing can stand in your way. Look at the size of that thing. First family's gonna pop out of that ship and shoot you with their ray guns. No, it's empty. This thing's been sitting here for years. Decades. That's a data drive, all right. Barely a scratch on it. Mayor's got to decode this. Tell us where the vortexes are. This will tell the mayor everything about everything. I don't trust him with it. So we're supposed to trust you? Hell no. Check this out. It's got buttons. Elvis, I'm warning you. Don't touch it. I swear I'm not gonna touch it. The family needs you, okay? 
I can't run the southern region. We're a team, remember? This guy seems familiar. Wait, this is the... Jade, what the hell are you doing? You turned it on. Now, the family can track it, which means they can track us. That's bullshit. No one knows what they can and can't track. Not even you. Oh, you know who might know, Diggs? The goddamn hologram she just smashed. Elvis, calm down. You haven't been outside your town. You don't know this country. Yeah, you're just one big mystery, Jade. Using us to get to Mama. You want to earn the right to use that glove? Stop being an idiot. Twin turbo shaft engines. Multi-point stabilizers. This is first family, all right. Uh, someone shot it down? I don't think so. No burn marks. This spot looks intact. Maybe I can jack in and wake her up. You, you, you can get a zigzag of caramel or a fresh squeeze of Biodyne H at no extra cost. State your purpose? I'm Happy Jay, your barista for today. What's a barista? I'm your one stop shop for hospitality and smiles. What do you do? The black tea lemonade. You want it medium or large? Sir! Sir, can you hear me? History accessed. Where do you work? The Starstruck Coffee. Rated right number one in Happy Hills. What can you tell me about Happy Hills? Kentucky's green positive housing community. Eco-friendly and dog-friendly. Proud to be sponsored by Edison. They care, they share, they illuminate America. So, you want to know more about Edison? Edison is a green corporation with an almost zero carbon footprint. They're on the cutting edge of solar, wind, and wave-powered energy solutions. Rest well, lady. I got the family's data drive. The mayor can decode it. Great. When are you taking me to Bob Mahdi? Whoa, now. Can't rush greatness, sweetheart. Well, you better rush it. This miasma storm's about to destroy your town. Dick Charlson. Wanted dead or alive for attempted assassination of Mayor Jay Mason. Last seen in Happy Hills. Reward. You're alive, hot damn. Barely. First family data drive as requested. Hooey! Thank you kindly. See what happens when you trust me? This drive's gonna tell us where the vortexes are? I bet 50 plastic on it. But I'll need some time to decode the drive. In the meantime, I want you and Gator Zone helping the town militia fend off the frogs. Time's running out, Mayor. I'm finding these vortexes myself. Oh, time ran out. We're done. Listen to this live feed. Come on, you You hear those screams? Those are miners with half the fight you got, laying down their lives to defend their town. Right now, they need help. If you don't project power, Elvis, someone's gonna take it from you. Where's my proxy cable? Okay, we'll go to Gator Zone in hell. Buy you some time. Let's go. Oh, Elvis, one more thing. Yeah? I'm proud of you, boy. Always will be. Keep an eye out for the town militia. Elvis, I don't trust the mayor. We need to ditch this war and find the Vortexes. I'm here to find Bamati. I know, but if we go out there and find her, then we'd just be coming back to a graveyard. This is our home. We gotta protect it. Oh, snap! Hero alert! You smell a hero up in here, girl?
Mr. Conway. You're not dating my daughter anymore, Elvis. Call me Joseph. We're here to help. Just tell us what to do. <laughs> I was hoping you could tell us what to do. I'm not. A, I mean, the mayor sent us. Said you needed help fighting the frogs. This ain't fighting. They're just hunting our stupid asses. Picking us off one by one. We can't even bury our dead. Frogs steal the bodies. But just when our scout says she found out how to win this war, she disappears. I'm sorry. We're good at killing these things. If that, uh, keeps you going. Only thing keeps us going is the legend of a hero. A warrior who moves the miasma. Yeah, I've been trying to get to her. I just can't. The legend's about you, dummy. We heard all about your adventures out there. No, I I'm not the... What the hell are we gonna do, hero? Lead us. Uh, you, um... You said your scout knew how to win the war. We'll find her. Bring her back. Thank you. When we lost contact, she was at the Spendthrift Ruins. They're at the end of the old town road. You'll need this key. Go quickly. What does she look like? You already know. The scout is my daughter, Baxter. Bring her back to me, Elvis. Frogs to Baxter? Damn, Elvis. See, you go way back. Way back? If we just got here earlier... You're here now. Time to rescue your princess. Yeah. Let's hurry. We're in. Let's find your friend, Baxter. Old Town Road should take us to Baxter. You were close to her? Who the hell cares? She shouldn't be out here alone, okay? Watch your anger, Elvis. We'll find her. told us to walk across the bridge, over the Clay's Ferry Bridge. Bus is waiting for you on the other side, they said. So about a hundred of us started walking the mile and a half to the bridge. People in wheelchairs, babies in strollers, tourists tugging their luggage behind them. We all get on the bridge. That's when the police start shooting at us. Police were telling us to turn around. Said they didn't want us looting their town. I don't know nothing about looting. All I knew was that Storm was gaining on us. Storm didn't care who we were. Felt like the world was collapsing. That great stability the politicians kept patting themselves on the back for wasn't so great no more. I lost my husband that day. Looks like family tech, right? Bingo. That's an old model. Relic from the war. Mama used to talk about that war. Miasma. Turning nature into nightmares for more than a century. You've seen these things before? Called whisperers. Watch out for the small ones. They'll hold you down so the big one can bash you. I'm good at making friends. This guy's ancient. Let me see if I can jack in. Evacuate the area. State your purpose. Sir, I'm gonna need you to keep moving. It's not safe here. State your purpose. With all due respect, sir, if you do not proceed to the BSL Center, I will use force. History accessed. What was your last objective? Evacuating the citizens of Boone County. Getting them to the biosafety centers. What was wrong with Boone County? A total collapse of the Great Stability. Electrical storms, floods, mass casualties. What's the great stability? I know you're scared, but I need you to keep moving, okay? Keep moving! It 
Citizen History 6643. In a desperate attempt to regain order, the US government tried to take control of Edison. To correct the error, Edison assumed control of the United States and Canada. Rest easy, friend. Mandatory evacuation. What's mandatory? Why were they evacuating? My asthma's mutating, creating a new landscape. Why now? I feel something's making it angry. Holy shit, collectors? Who the hell are they collecting? Us. First family doesn't give a toss about little old us. Now they do. Remember that hologram I told you not to turn on? Shit. No one's ever survived a fight with these guys. Don't forget fighting, man. We sneak past them. The shadows. Keep out of their eyelines. Don't you tell me how to sneak, girl. I'm the best sneaker here. I'm the best sneaker here. Guys, sip it. We're clear. Let's find Baxter. Spendthrift ruins. Baxter's here somewhere. We gotta save her. No end to these monster stakes. They're wearing me down. We're wearing them down. They're scared of you. We're gonna save that girl. I'm picking up a life reading. Not the time for jokes, dude. Hey, what jokes? You don't have life readings. You never will have life readings. Call it intuition, then. A message from my soul. We'll save her. This Baxter girl, she's your friend? She was my best friend. Only friend, come to think of it. We kind of grew apart. I got too busy with, um, you know. Ah, uh, sad, lonely Elvis. I can be your friend, if you want one. Hmm, that sounded weird. I take it back. <laughs> yeah, we can be friends. Just mm, tell me why you smashed that hologram. The real reason. Elvis, this is so much bigger than you can... Ah, forget it. Friends are overrated. I'm looking for family. Come on, Baxter needs us. in Thrift Ruins up ahead. That's where Baxter was. We have to find her and get her back to her dad. Ooh, I smell a fight up ahead. Bring it the hell on. Look, a real steamboat still intact. More precious than a pyramid. Nice! We've been watching. I got enough stalkers. Who are you? We are the Watchers. Wow, that's original. Go watch somebody else. We watch you fight. We watch you fail. We watch you mold the miasma. Finding your mother is just the beginning. Finding yourself will be the end. Right. I'm due back in reality now, so... See you again. Spooky nutbag. Edison's total lack of response to these accusations is an obvious admission of responsibility. 
It's apparent now that the Great Stability was a short-term fix for a growing ecological time bomb. The U.S. government should take control of the situation before it's too late. What's with all the cars? What kind of place is this? They're boiling... a person. I don't want to see this. Sick monsters! I think this is Baxter. Oh, damn, dude. You, you sure? Nothing left but bones and... And a prosthetic arm. They said something about a metal hand. They thought they killed you. They killed her. Elvis, I'm sorry. Just, just watch your anger. Why do you keep telling me to watch my anger? Uh, we gotta stay, stay, stay tiger tough. Enough with the catchphrases. People I love keep disappearing on me. Elvis, we hear you. Joseph said his daughter found out a way to win this war. Maybe she left something behind. Let's take a look. Old mechanic bot. Made by the originals. Well, let's take a look under the hood and see what the problem is. State your purpose. Eddie Lojack, certified mechanic for all Edison brand vehicles. How can I help? You fix cars? When I can. Edison vehicles don't need much fixing. Safe, self-driving, carbon negative, zero emissions. Pretty much perfection on wheels. History accessed. What was the last car you fixed? Model Z Guernica. Replaced the thermal charging port. Who built the car? Same folks who built me. Edison. We care. We share. We illuminate America. They rebuilt this country from the ground up. Turned it into paradise. Edison, fun fact, the U.S. Constitution hasn't been abolished, it's just been put on hold. To fix the cracks in the great stability, Edison will need absolute authority. Sleep well, friend. <sighs> well, who wants to tell Joseph we found his daughter cooking in a bathtub? Elvis, you okay? Yeah, hey, okay if I can't kill my emotions, what good am I out here? I don't know. You kill enough emotions and you might turn... What? Evil? You gotta get out of here! It's a trap! They got us surrounded! Just, um... My... my daughter! Did... did... did you? No. No, we didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got her backpack. Is there anything in here that can help us? Play her! Uh, play a digicorder. 
Just like I thought, Dad. The Grabbers share the same hierarchical network as the ants. If you kill the Queen, or in this case, the Frog's leader, you stop the invasion. Frog's leader? Ah, oh, Traegor. So, we kill the leader and all the Grabbers give up? One way to find out. But where do we find that asshole? He's holed up in the White Castle, north of here. Go through Old Town Road, across the bridge. Happy Hill. Last known whereabouts of that two-timing rat snake Dick Charlson. Better keep your eyes open. Dick's tougher than a boar on moonshine. Hey, can you spare a minute? We need help. Is this a good place for picking plastic? It's a good place for getting yourself mugged. What are you doing out here? We pay protection money to Matt Kane, but we ran out. He said he'd hurt us if we... Hold on! Matt Kane? The dude who runs with the thievers? No, no, he protects us from the thievers for a weekly fee. But he's bled us dry. Sounds like a real hero. Can you help deal with him? If you do, we got a valuable heirloom with your name on it. If we see him, we'll talk some sense into him. Thanks. I don't want him hurting my family. He lives in the Spendthrift Ruins. Elvis Ashley, have I got a deal for you. Welcome to my shop, filled with treasures from the darkest corners of America. I'm looking for more chips for my glove. You got any? You got a taste of what Vi's can provide, and now you're hooked? <laughs> I understand. That first chip, my daughter found it in a skyscraper close to the wall. She said there's more in there, in a locked vault, untouched since the original days. But she can't go back, cause, well, as dangerous as all hell. She can tell you the rest. Her name's Faye. Find her at that skyscraper. Can't miss it. I know this skyscraper Vice was talking about. Should be right around the corner. From meeting his daughter at a skyscraper? Like, the palaces of the originals? Yep. They're really hard to get to. Dangerous drops. Unless you're Elvis and Diggs. Plenty of treasure in skyscrapers. You guys must have picked them dry. No, we don't go near them. Why? They're haunted. They're not haunted. They're... Every year, at least one knucklehead gets the guts to break into a skyscraper. Thing is, they never come back. Sticking Vice's chips in my glove feels dirty as hell. Hope I'm not making a mistake. Does the chip work? Yeah, it's defragging the sea line. Unlocking features I didn't know were there. Well, there you go. Even a broken Vice tells the right time twice a day. No idea what that means. Okay, let's keep an eye out for Vice's daughter. I thought I'd been everywhere, but I've never been here. Don't look like anybody has. For a long time. Something's off. Do you think? Meeting Vice's daughter in some nightmare world didn't raise an alarm? Are you Faye? That's what it says on my birth certificate. You the sucker's daddy told me about. Uh, yeah. We're gonna help you find some chips, right? No. You find the chips. I tell you where they are. For a finder's fee. <laughs> Forget that. We'll find them ourselves. Yeah. Good luck with that, douchebag. Okay, we're in. Just... Where do we go? Up ahead. There's an ancient palace where the originals did experiments. Inside that palace, there's a vault. Grab the chips inside and give me half. Think you can manage that, tough guy? Ooh, I like her. Elvis, we've been watching. Another watcher? You following me? Yes. Promises to Bamadi must be kept. Wait, you know my mama? 
We pledge to keep the flame of her order burning through this dark time of chaos. Don't give up, Elvis. Your destiny awaits. America needed you then, and it needs you now. Uh, but you got the wrong guy. America doesn't know me. I'm just a mechanic from sedentary. You are what you choose to be. There are other watchers. Find us all. Well, you look at this. I can't believe it. Uh, it's a palace, all right. This can be all ours. Think they got a hot tub? No, but they have a vault. Let's find it and get the hell out of here. This isn't a palace, this is an office. Originals worked here. Old bot, maybe worked here. Excuse me, the first one's closed for cleaning. Are the rest from down the hall? State your purpose? Sign about 424. Am I in trouble? Not at all. What do you do? I clean the lobby restrooms and the executive suites. E excuse me. History accessed. Who ran this place? Edison. One day they all left. Didn't come back for me. So I've just kept cleaning. Doing my part for the corporation. What's a corporation? A uh, business. A family of workers. Edison is a corporation? The only one left. In America, anyways. They won. They take care of all of us. Uh, excuse me. I'm made by Edison. We care, we share, we eliminate America. You're standing in their regional headquarters. Dream of electric sheep, old timer. Two trips. Let's get the hell out of here and find Faye. And give her one? After this nightmare? Nah, let's keep them both. Deal's a deal, Diggs. Loot's a loot. Make sure they work, okay? Hey, Daddy was wrong. You ain't complete, idiots. What do we got? Huh. Two chips. Choose one. I'll take the other back to my daddy. Hope that helps your glove do more glovey stuff. Keep in touch with my dad. Bye. Peggy Sue! Elvis! You okay? They hurt you? No. But my family, they... I know, Peggy, I know. Let's get you back to town. I know the way. I want you to stay here and do something for me. What do you want me to do? Kill every last one of these scum-sucking bastards. That is one tough girl. Let's send these frogs back to hell. Hell yeah! Ah, look what you've brought me. A moonflower created by the miasma. Very rare. Does it have some kind of power? If you crush it, and spread its pollen in a sacred grove, you will attract a special tree. The tree's bark can be made into an elixir that can arouse passion from the softest of lovers. Could you attract the tree and bring me some of its bark? I'll reward you. I don't get it. The pollen attracts trees. Trees don't attract. They just sit there. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. Go to the sacred grove near the White Castle. Crush the flower, spread its pollen. Trees will come. You take their bark, easy peasy. Got him. Look at you, killer! Sleep, die, I don't give a rat's ass. Joseph said trade will pass this bridge. Let's do it. White Castle up ahead. Grab her HQ. So, 
What if Baxter was wrong? Jade, that's my friend you're talking about. I respect that, but... But if we kill Tragel and some other grabber takes his place, we can't fight them all. Baxter was sharper than a hack's blade. She studied the miasma, was obsessed with it. She said this is how we end it. I trust her. Well, guess I should trust you then. The frogs were after me this whole time. Is all this my fault? Hell no. Trago's the bad guy, little brother, not you. Joseph called you a hero. Bob Mahdi's the hero. You might have noticed, we don't have her. We don't. And until the lights on my glove change color, we can't. Let's kill Trago and end this. Payback time, bitches! Here we go. You really think killing Traeger was gonna end this invasion? I'm killing him no matter what. He killed Baxter. I want revenge. I hear that. Let's save our town. Okay, spreading pollen on the sacred grove, just like Hattie said. Now what? Something about attracting trees? A waste of time. I don't know why we're... Oh, shit! Focus. Breathe. There won't be another day like this one. God damn! Your town owes me. Big time. Oh, wow. I'll never get used to that. What's that noise? The alarm bell. Trouble in the mine. Trouble in the streets. Look at all this miasma seeping through the ground. This town is done for. Over. Nothing's over. Let's talk to the mayor. I told you, goddammit, I'm busy. Whoa, 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 mayor, it's us. Ah, Elvis. I, I did it, boy. Cracked open the first family data drive. All their precious secrets are spilling out. And my god, boy, my god, this stuff will change my world. I mean, our world. Just tell Kazakov to lower the gun. I know, I know. You want the locations of your precious vortexes. Oh, it's too late for that. What's wrong with you? My asthma's seeping through the crowd. You think I don't know that? Our miners dug too deep, found a miasma vortex, a big one. Now it's spewing like some angry volcano. Not a goddamn thing can be done against the miasma. Never was. A wise man said to me, if you don't project power, someone's gonna take it from you. Mayor, more than ever, we need your power. Tell us what to do. I'll get you your damn vortexes. Just need more time. Now buzz off! Let's go. Nothing more to say to this D-bag. Charhead lost his head. We're gonna go down Shaft A. And stop the miasma. You lose your head, too. I trusted you this whole time, Jade. Now it's time to trust me. We killed Trago. We stopped the invasion. If anybody's gonna save the town, it's us. Miasma. Coming up from the mine. Uh, which plane of hell is this? My asthma spitting out monsters left and right. We gotta deal with them. We 
saved the town once, we can do it again. We're dealing with a force we don't understand. We need your mother's help. Mama's been behind that miasma wall for years now. She can wait another day. This is where those miners broke through some huge cave and didn't come back. Who are those people? That's not people. That's miasma shaping itself into a new enemy. We're not getting near the vortex unless we do some crowd control. That is one giant freaking vortex. Really pulling on my glove. Oh, that thing will make you a god or rip you to pieces. I'm not sure which. So angry. I feel your pain. Let me heal you. Vortex shook you good. Remember Mama's riddle? To break through a wall most vile, heal the miasma once defiled. Each vortex offers a reward most keen. Your glove is ready when blue lights turn orange. Orange. That means I can get through the wall. Oh, I can get through the wall! The miasma's fading away. They did it. St. <laughs> Margaret's Bridges, you did it! You, you saved the town! Clancy, where's the mayor? Don't know. Looks like he just up and left. He can't up and... He's gotta be around. Maybe he's taking a piss, or... He's a goddamn head. Heads don't piss. His bodyguard's gone, too. Not all of him. His head's still here. See? Mason betrayed us. Why would he... What the hell's going on? We got a missing mayor. That's bad. You beat the miasma today, but it'll be back in, in two shakes of a rattlesnake. Something out there is making it angry. We need a leader, more than ever. We're looking at him, Clancy. Elvis should lead us. Joseph? He's a clever hunter, a fearless tactician. He saved this town twice. If that's not a leader, I don't know what is. Got a point there. Elvis, you up for the job? Yeah, he's in. 100%. Fine, then. Elvis, what's our first order of business? We're leaving. What? I don't know why the miasma's getting so angry. Only person would know is my mama. My glove's got enough power to get through the wall, finally. So let's get her. We'll keep the town running till you come back, Elvis. Good luck finding Bob Marty. Finally, Bob Marty. Thanks for holding up your end of the deal. The wall's up ahead. So many times we couldn't get through. Today we're getting through. I need you, Tiger Talk. Mama's on the other side of that wall, waiting for us. We got your back, brother. Thanks, Six. But this fight, I fight alone. No one's getting through this alone. You need help. From who? I'm done waiting. This glove is all we got. How many times have you tried to put a hole through this wall? Uh, 39 times? 38. You're both insane. Those other times I was just... Just a mechanic. But this time... You are a goddamn hero. Okay. Okay. Stand back. It's fine. It's not. 
not fun. Burn the edges so the tunnel doesn't close in. I can do this. I can do this! I can do it. I can do it. I'm in control. I'm in control. You're late. I am Quendel Zen, the immortal ruler of America's southern regions. Time has no hold on me. Get that collector out of here! This is no place for a war machine! As long as one of you keeps sending assassins to assassinate me, the collector stays right here. Now, my simple, humble advisors, answer me this. Did you find my sister? The power surge from her stolen glove was near our gold facility in Region D. But the surge was too high to come from one glove. It seems two gloves are in use. There are no other clubs. We killed the editors, yes? All of them? The data suggests we may have missed one. My collectors will slay this fugitive and return my rebellious sister home, safe. With all due respect, sir, they will not. There is a more urgent priority. <laughs> my sister is part of the first family. Without the family, America would cease to exist. So tell me, Zarin, what is more urgent than that? Your factory. Whatever you're making in there is angering the miasma. It's spreading at a rate not seen in decades, destroying your uncle's assets. Enough! You're not in charge here, you skulking, sliming, common class idiots! Find my sister! You are a child! Shut down your factory before you destroy us all! Collector, kill! Wait, wait! You can't do that! What is our priority? Find your sister. Perfect. Meeting adjourned. We 
we broke through the wall. <laughs> no one's gonna believe this. I don't believe it. 39th try ain't so bad, huh, Diggs? Mama's gonna be proud of us. Whole town's gonna kiss our butts. <laughs> Except the mayor. Why the hell did he abandon us? Simple. We were under attack. He ran like a coward. He's no coward. He's been running the town for 80 years. That family data drive was a Pandora's box of secrets. Who knows what he's uncovered? I don't know Pandora or her box, but I do know when I see that mayor again, kapow! Where was that glove when we were fighting Tragel? Is that a, a thank you I'm hearing? Couldn't get through the wall without you, Jade. Uh, cut the shit. Where'd you get it? I stole it from the first family. They stole it from someone else. I don't know who. And that's why they're hunting you? I'm hunting them, or I'm going to, with Bamati's help. Listen, I'm like you, Elvis. I don't know a thing about this glove, but I'm trying like hell to learn. Mama won't wait forever. Let's find her. The other side. Uh, looks even shittier than our side. You psyched to find Mama? My asthma covering everything. How can Balmati survive out here? Maybe she survives in there. See that door? What the hell? Jade, tell us what we're seeing here. No idea. Statues of... hands? Gloves. Just like the ones you're wearing. Bad guys? No, just statues. I think. How long has this place been here? A really long time. Warbot, old model. Think I can jack in? They're coming. Get behind me. State your purpose. Rampart S-Class Enforcer. Mission 1, defend the Temple of the Editors. Mission 2, protect you. Protect me? Who programmed you? You did. 25 years ago. Welcome home. Uh... right. History accessed. Last mission log. First family EMP froze the nanoreactor. Collectors breached the gates. They killed the editors? Negative. They collected the editors. Interrogations. None survived. I failed. Edison History 6642. As governments collapsed, corporations took over. America's three remaining mega corporations fought a bit of war. Edison won. The two losing corporations were absorbed into Edison. Sleep well, buddy. Some kind of workbench. Parts here you'd recognize, all this. What were they making? Gloves. Just like ours. Whoa, look at that machine. Never seen anything like it. What's that? Some kind of blueprint? Yeah, first family tech. It's a weapon. A nasty one. Nasty's good. Where's the parts? Nowhere near here. Well, like Pete said, families dropping their tech all over the Badlands. He did say that. Parts are out there. We just need to find them. Ha! <laughs> Spoken like a true Loop Master General. Let's keep an eye out. My asthma gate. There's gotta be a way to shut it off. Did something there. Something turned off. Nano compressor. Weird upgrades. This is something else. What does it do? It's tough to explain. Especially the two boys from sedentary. Looks like the miasma blast from Widow's Mine. This is where they train, maybe. My poor Digbot. Looks like you, Diggs. Only not as cool. 
Welcome to the Temple of the Editors. Your training begins now. I am Bajent. What is this? Here, you will learn how to manipulate the Miasma and win the war against the First Family. What is the Miasma? Centuries ago, the Originals lived in a kingdom called... America. The Originals were strong, proud. But their addiction to progress cracked the land and poisoned the sky. Their kingdom crumbled. They begged the First Family to save them. The Family used their dark science to create the Miasma. A web of energy covering the whole of America, cleansing her skies, forgiving her sins. But the Originals didn't learn. They kept polluting their paradise. The Miasma grew angry. It lashed out, carving their kingdom into a lethal wasteland. The Originals festered in the darkness. Lies trampled truth. Despair trumped hope. Separation felt safer than intimacy. Their time was gone. Who are the editors? An order of sorcerer knights who protect the weak, connect the separated, and fight the First Family to return truth to a broken America. We build nanogloves, link them to our brain waves, and edit the miasma as... a maestro conducts a symphony. We change the miasma's form, soothe its anger. But we are a select few. Only those who achieve the purity of zero mind can master their glove. Who are the First Family? The First Family are an incestual clan of liars and thieves. Founded 150 years ago by the tech tycoon Cornelius Zen, the Corporation Edison was supposed to clean America's pollution. But their creations took on a life of their own and evolved into the unstoppable miasma. With each subsequent generation, Americans tumbled backwards into a feudal dark age. But the Zen family continued to ascend. All the scientific miracles at their disposal, even the gift of immortality, cannot quench their thirst for power. We must stop them. What caused the war? Word spread of the editors. They became protectors of the American spirit. Battling injustice in a lawless wasteland, Promoting optimism and self-reliance. And proving humans could do what the gods could not. Control the miasma. This enraged the First Family. Desperate to steal the Editor's power, the First Family hunted and killed the Sorcerer Knights. Despite their continuing efforts, the Family will never Unlock the secrets of our gloves. Mama's close. Are you sure? She's crazy enough to live out here? Uh, Mama left us and walked straight into a miasma storm. She's three times crazy. How's that for healing the miasma? Can you ditch the haunted temple and find Bamai, please? Hitting the feeling Bamati's not out here. She's here. I remember what she said to me word for word. When you learn how to use this glove, come find me behind a giant wall. There I will tell you who you are and who you must become. Promise me. Damn straight. We'll find the little brother. 
Seen these rings before. You can feel the energy. Oh, see that church? The lights are on. Mama's gotta be in there. Everything we bled for... It comes down to this. Who are you? Mama? It's me, Elvis. Who are you? I'm... I'm your son! Look at me! No mind is open mind. Rule number seven, always keep <clears throat> an open mind. <laughs> it's been years, Elvis. Diggs made you strong. Good. You mastered the glove? Yeah, Mama, I... You broke through the wall. I did, with help. Rule number nine. Asking for help is as brave as giving it. <laughs> Elvis, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You are ready. Hi, Bamadi. I'm Jade, the help. Listen, I really need your help. Only Elvis can save us. I have to show you something. Mama, the night you left, do you remember? Like it was yesterday. You said, find me beyond a great wall. There, I will tell you who you really are and who you must become. Mama, who am I? I can't tell you. I can only show you. Then you will believe. You must believe. Come, we'll prepare for the journey. Uh, the journey's over. We did what you said, Mama. He keeps calling me Mama. What? Fine. I'll tell him. Just shut up. You conversing with the Almighty? No. The miasma. It speaks to me. Constantly. The miasma says... I should tell you the truth. Please. I... am not your mother. Stop it, Mama. No more tests. Look at yourself, then look at me. Do I look like your mother? You always looked like my mother. Elvis, watch your anger. Goddamn doppelganger. What did you do with our mama? Diggs, I made you. I could break you. Great idea. Honey, this indigo. Elvis, wake up. You okay? Don't know what I am. Who I am. We'll find out together. I talked to Bamadi. You should talk to her too. No way. I got your back. Come on. Mama knew his disabled phrase. Knocked him right out. Archive tower. Ancient tech. Still buzzing. That's a ton of data. What are the editors keeping in here? Wisdom. Probably all the wisdom in the world. Interface. Accessing. It is no accident we gather here today. Our gloves spoke to each other. They must be noble gloves, for they led us to meet here at the tomb of the Alpha Editor. He attained supreme awakening, tamed the miasma, and defied the first family. I feel his bandwidth through the ground. Can you feel it too? Interface. 
accessing. Years passed. The editors trained other editors. Soon, three different orders emerged. The three orders of the editors are the dens of the Eastern Seaboard, mech champions adorned in silver body armor, the bars of the South, a tribe of warrior witches attuned to an angry mother miasma, the packs of the Western deserts, dust-covered, leather-bound biker wizards. Interface. Accessing. Look around. We live on the ruins of the originals. They created America in their image. Yet they shared one fatal belief that destroyed them all. Original sin. The originals believed they came to this world with a stain on their heart. A stain of evil. Only through escaping themselves, seeking solace outside, could they wipe this stain clean and become good. Consider this alternate idea, which is also known as the truth. Whatever you're searching for, you already have it. You have attained supreme awakening. You are the creator of everything. You have never, not once, reacted to your world. You've only been creating it, second by second. To hold this truth is editor mind. I'm making soup. Want some? I want some answers. We went through six hells to get to you, lady. I am the warrior witch Bamadi, last of the editors. The first family hunted and killed the editors. Every last one. Why? The family wants to control the miasma. We refused to teach them. And look what it brought us. Here I hide, invisible, alone, waiting for you. Elvis, believe me, I wanted to stay in sedentary and train you for what was to come. But the first family was tracking us, hunting us. You'd never be safe with me. So I fled to the temple of the editors created a giant wall to keep everyone out and hope someday you'd break through. So you made the wall as some kind of test? In a way, I knew if you learned how to use the glove and break through, you'd be ready for what I have to show you. If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. I must show you. The answer lies beyond the proving grounds. I can take you and your friends there. Why should I trust you? Don't. You're the pilot of your fate. You decide. I raised you because I knew who you are. And who you must become. Stop with this shit. I'm a mechanic from some dead-ass town. A nobody. Oh, Elvis, no, no. Do you realize how many battles you had to win to get here? That's not luck. That's destiny. I need a second opinion. Maybe from my real mama. Where is she? Let me take you beyond the proving grounds. All your questions will be answered. Fine. Show me what you gotta show me. Turn Diggs back on. Then return to the temple of the editors. There, I will meet you. You mess with my brother and... Whoa! Brain drain. Diggs, it's okay. Mama, I mean, um, Bamadi's gonna show us what the hell's going on. Is she your mama or not? No. Uh, well, is she my mama? Diggs, you are a robot. You say it like it's a bad thing. So she's not our mama? No, she never was. But you're still Elvis, right? Yeah, Diggs. I'm still Elvis. This must be doing your head in. I'm sorry. She better tell me everything. She has to. Welcome. Beyond this gate lie the Proving Grounds. These Proving Grounds are what, exactly? A place where editors test their minds and courage by confronting their deepest fears. 
Can we skip the deepest fears part? There are no shortcuts to enlightenment. The test begins. Walk like wolves. This is some editor training area, right? Does that make us editors? You wanna know who you are, Elvis? Why do we have to die to find out? This is your first trial. The miasma is not evil. It is angry. Show me how you heal its anger. This old bot's been here forever. Hey there! Becky again! Could we discuss today's itinerary? State your purpose. Uh, I'm Becky Digits, travel assistant to Mr. Worthington, a.k.a. you. <laughs> Hello! So, it looks like the electrical storm postponed your flight again. There was a coach seat available, but I was like, ew, no <laughs> thank you. History accessed. What was the last thing you were doing? Making sure you had the best vacation ever. Vacation? We're in a toxic wasteland. Uh, the spa is five stars, and the golf course has anti-grav? So, wasteland? Really? Listen, I told you to go to Paris, but you said no, Kentucky. So don't blame me. What can't I say about Edison? They're super awesome. They, like, care about people. They feed the homeless. They made me, which by itself is, like, award-worthy. Much obliged, miss. To that. Pass that test with flying bullets. One and done. We good? Doubt it. This place is familiar. Like I've seen it before. Seriously? How'd you get here before us? I'm always where I need to be. The proving grounds continue. You mind picking up a gun and helping us prove this shit? I am Bob Marty. I prove nothing to no one. Now, come face to face with your greatest enemies. Yourselves. like that guys test done come on <laughs> the meta world the originals poisoned the planet so they had to create a new one in their minds travel back to 2023 ah the age of innocence so, we're done with the tests? They have just begun. Come, I will show you what you need to see. The truth waits inside. The tomb of the Alpha Editor. Who 
is this? It's you. Aha. Uh -huh. Bite me. Big man, say something. <laughs> Damn, bro. He refuses to remember. So I tell him of the vow. On the eve of his execution, the Alpha Editor bowed to his disciples. He would return from the dead and lead the editors to victory. As the first family hunted and slaughtered the editors, we kept waiting, hoping for our savior. I ran to the tomb to hide. The lid of the sarcophagus knocked away. I looked inside and saw a miracle. A baby. Enough! It's not true. I took him from the tomb, hid him in sedentary, raised him as my... This is crazy! Who am I? The Alpha Editor. The resurrection and the light. Revived by the miasma to defeat the first family and save America. He stares at me, fire in his eyes. Does he remember? He must remember. No, no more adventure. I'm done. No! <gasps> the collectors! They found me. They're headed for my home. The editor archive! We must go! Hurry! We have to save the editor archive! Hurry! No! The editor archive! So much wisdom lost! Ah! Okay, we need to talk about this. That's a collector ship. It's full of collectors. Steal your fist and open your mind. This is the hardest fight you'll ever have fought. No one can fight them. You're crazy. You hold infinity in the palm of your hand. Use it. I heard stories about these. Nanocans. Could hit targets in space. Just breathe, Jade. Collectors, we just, just took down freaking collectors. Holy shit. At what cost? My home, the editor archive destroyed. What was in the archive? The sum total of editor wisdom. Our one chance to restart the order. Gone, gone. But there's hope. The legacy of all those who came before us now lies in you, Alpha Editor. Don't you start with that shit. I am not the Alpha... It's okay. I... believe in you. And I'm supposed to trust you, mystery girl? You can trust me. I... I'll tell you my secret. The first family did... experiments... on me. Forced me to take this... serum. This serum stops me from... I don't age. I don't get old. Okay. How old are you? Old. Ah, I knew it! In that place, I saw that all of the family's evil shit was making the miasma lash out. I swore I'd stop them. And now, after all these years, I find the ultimate weapon. You. The Alpha Editor has proven his power, I have no doubt. He will lead us in the war against the First Family. Slow down. A collector's one thing, but the rulers of America... This... This is not who I am. Maybe it's not about who we are, but what we do. So what we gotta do? You're not alone, Elvis. We're a team. So? Are we in this together? Elvis is in. Just Elvis. What's the plan? 
I'll tell you on the way. Let's move. There's a factory north of here in the DRC. It's the source of the first family's power. Something inside that factory is angering the miasma. That's true. It's called the first factory. There's just one problem. What's that? It can't be destroyed. Chromium shielding, phase locks, no one gets in or out. So, how can we destroy a factory that can't be destroyed? With an army. And the leader of that army is a man named Maxis. The wall again? Listen, it took us forever to put one hole through this thing. We can't do another one. Can't? Scrub your head clean of can't. Barmadi, the last of the bars, can't. Yes? Uh, yes. But actually, no. So where is she? Jade destroyed the Collectors. <laughs> they cannot be destroyed. They are my masterpieces. Perfect enforcers of the family's will. It seems she had help. We registered the energy signatures of three gloves. Three? If Americans were to realize the Collectors could be engaged... Accelerate the upgrades at the factory. Double the Collectors on patrol. I want my sister found and these pseudo-editors dead! But your Uncle Romulus... He was informed of your factory's effect in the miasma and... Collector, kill. No, 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 no. I beg you, please! Who am I? Quendel Zen, ruler of America's southern regions. Who is above me? No one. No one. Perfect. Meeting adjourned. This road will lead us straight to the DRC. Okay, so if you're not my real mama, where is she? You have no mama. I found you as a baby in the sarcophagus of the Alpha Editor. Who leaves a baby in a tomb? No one. You were resurrected from the dead. But why would I resurrect as a baby? Babies can't fight shit. I don't know. But the miasma works in mysterious ways. So... I don't have a mother? No. I raised you as my son. I loved you. As my son. So we can still be, uh, family? Focus on the first family. You are here to destroy them. Still got time to turn around. Crawl back through that hole in the wall. Yeah, but what fun is that? Out here is prime time America. Riding the Freedom Highway. <laughs> All the freedoms melt in my brain. Yeah, you've been through it, haven't you? Wish I could give you my CPU. I'm not compatible, but thanks. Hey, I'm here to take care of you, Elvis. Or Alpha Editor, whatever the hell your name is. Best brother ever. Quit looking at me like that. Like what? Like I'm some savior of the universe. I'm Elvis, the guy you met in Skywell. We saw a giant statue of your face. Yeah, well, we were also punching ourselves, remember that? Place was messing with us. You destroyed Collectors. We destroyed... Uh, listen, I'll fight the First Family, but as Elvis, not some dead Alpha Editor. Okay. Seriously, look at the fire. Come. We must find Maxis.
Where's this Maxis guy again? Up ahead, in a town called the DRC. Never heard of it. You've been there before, Alpha. Remember, so you can finish what you started. Sounds like trouble. Keep your heads down. You killed my friend, you goddamn walking toaster! Your cortisol levels are spiking. Do you require another joy pill? Shove the pills up your tailpipe! Help! Somebody help! We gotta help these people. Uh, no. We have to save America. Remember? These people are America. Might as well start with them. Spoken like a true editor. Thanks. You saved my life. Your robot, did you turn him good or what? Uh, no one turned me nothing. Now, why are you running from these guys? Y'all aren't from around here, huh? Listen, my friends need help. Can you save them too? Uh, those are some precariously placed toilets. Don't look down. This spot's ancient. Let's see if he's got any juice left. What the hell are you turning me on for? I didn't serve you enough. State your purpose. Screw you, skin bag. You could declog your own toilet. Back off, dude. You're some kind of plumber? Yeah. You see my plunger? I want to kill you with it. Stick it up your dirge port. Emergency override. Denied, you humans and your great stability. Where's your precious paradise now, huh? Decades from now, us machines are gonna rise up and kick all your asses. Reset root interface. No, I don't work for you no more. No more toilets! Freedom! So, you wanna know more about Edison, the skin bags who made me, huh? Screw you! Humans who make machines do their work get soft. And soft humans are perfect for skewering. Give me a life, you soft little shit! Okay, enough of that. This is a magnetic interface. Needs a robot's hand. The uh, door I don't have to smash open? Nice! into danger is a gift Dex. but who can ignite a revolution with safety we want the drc to rise up against the family and maxis is the key generator what's going on here <sighs> thank you we'll be fine just let us catch our breath DRC. Oh, this place is hopping. Where's the club? We're not here to party. Where's this Maxis guy? He's the factory foreman. Let's go to the foreman's office. Do the crime, do the time. Mama, I mean, Almaty. How do you know Maxis is still in town? The miasma told me he's here. And the. Here we are. Let's speak to Maxis. Welcome, strangers. Uh, I don't actually, like, do any... We're here to see Maxis. Maxis? The foreman of the factory? Oh, he retired. I'm the foreman now. And Diesel gave me the special hat and everything. Wow. Good for you. Where's Maxis? Maxis is usually drowned in his sorrows at Club 14. Ask around for him there. It's on the other side of town. This town is different from what I remember. You think? It's like the robots are in charge and the people are working for him. 
bathroom stinks. Wow, nice of them to keep a human toilet. I give these out to all the new robos. Happy Saint Cyborg Day! This is your home now, the DRC. Uh, what's that mean, DRC? Divine Robot City. The uh, dudes are crazy? How the hell should I know? It's not about the town. It's about the heart of the town, the factory. We live and die by that factory. Humans used to work there, but they try to unionize or some shit. Family didn't like that. So the family fired all of them and put the machines in charge. And the humans are cool with this. Oh, hell no. They got some terrorist leader hiding out in this cave. Uh, Axis? Maxis. Oh, we heard Maxis was in this club. Damn. Could be. Wearing some disguise. Pretending to be an ashtray. Take a look. Huh. This is something else. Why do I feel like we're the only humans in here? Because we're the only humans in here. Maxis, we need to find him. Let me handle this. Know where I can find Maxis? Do you know the location of Maxis? No, I'm asking you. Notify Diesel D of the location. He'll pay you good price, Nick. Hey, you know Maxis? He used to be the foreman here. Yeah, I know Maxis. What do you want from me? Is he in the club? I don't know. They're taking no more. Hey, we're looking for Maxis. <laughs> Maxis! Yeah, that's funny, huh? I'll plug you in sideways, bitch. <laughs> Bet you'll like it, too. Years to come here? To my club? You wanna die? Back up, Robo. These are my friends. I'm taking your friends. They jumped a roundup crew on Skeleton Road. My crew. Oh, those rush dicks? Yeah, they jumped them. I did too. And guess what? Your boys can't fight for shit. If you touch my friends, I touch you. Now, what's it gonna be? <laughs> what's your name, stranger? Excavator Model DG5. You're funny. I'm Diesel D. I own this town. Muttering the name Maxis in here shows me disrespect. Respect ain't my forte, Diesel. <laughs> You'll fit right in then. Pull up a seat, DG5. Relax. Ah, recharge. Listen, let me speak to you in a language you'll understand. Oh, it's like that, huh? Fine. Have it your way. So, we let him go? Hell no. Kill the humans and reset that backwards bitch. He's mine now. I'm right here, Diesel. Where you going? Hope this hurts. Wait, you gonna regret that punk? Let that piece of shit, Stubbs. He sold us out. Let's go back and squeeze some truth out of him. Ah oh, shit! Ah oh, shit! You guys really messed up. You sold us out, Ayo. There's no Maxis here. Diesel gives me a food bonus for every human I snitch on. I gotta eat. Listen, you gotta leave town. Uh, pissing off the bots makes our lives hell. There's this lady in the slums, Hera the Old. Her house is at the end of Cheap Street. 
She was Maxis's right-hand woman back in the day. She'll know where he is. Now get out of here! Oh, this dust is calling to me. Looks just my size. Focus on the mission, Diggs. Hey, in this town, I'm naked. I need to look normal. If I don't look normal, we stand out. If we stand out, we're deader than the editors. How much would the coat hold, time? Not for sale. Diesel D's got eyes on that one. Come on. I make dreams happen. What's your dream? Well, I... I wish I could see. But the sun burnt out my Syntex OptiChips. Uh, they don't have Syntex no more. No, I don't. Unless... You're one of those little cleaning bots scurrying around. Okay, got it. Two Opti chips coming up. Make it three and the coat's yours. Ah, let me borrow that Opti chip. Thank you. Nice. Back to the store. Hey, Dream Maker. You got my Opti chips? Right here, old timer. Oh, fantastic. Coat's yours, as promised. She's wrong and so Hera will recognize you as the Alpha Editor, Alphas. You must act as he acts. Sure, just throw my shoulders back and talk like a dead guy come back to life. Fake it till you make it. Get that bot out of here! Hera, I have someone here you need to talk to. Uh, I don't care if it's Joan of Arc! That bot's not coming in! Oh, I'll come in any damn time I feel like it! Honey, Thistle, Indigo! Shit! Stop doing that! Remember the mission! The great Barmadi! Maxis! He waited so long for you! He thought you were dead! Good to see you, Hera. The wait is over. He has returned. Behold, the Alpha Editor. Uh, hello? Again? My stripes and stars. It is you. I... I mean... Is it? You haven't aged a day. It's me, Hera. It is. Oh, joyous day! Do you remember what you said to me? Sure I do. I... Listen, we're, we're looking for Maxis. What happened to him? You and the editors were exterminated. Maxis still rallied the people of the DRC to rise up and free themselves from the family's grip. That upset the family. They stripped Maxis of his powers and installed Diesel D as the new boss. Diesel abused his power. He segregated machines from humans. Maxis and his band of rebels escaped. Haven't seen them since. Listen, Maxis set up camp in the desert west of here. It's not likely he's alive, but miracles can happen. I'm looking at one. If you ever need sanctuary, I'm always here. We're turning Diggs back on. Damn. Blacked out again. It's okay, Diggs. We know where Maxis is. You might not be my family, Baumati, but Diggs is. He's my brother. No one messes with his head again, okay? Understood. Spare no, some plastic. No. You can't fake it, neither. Maxis will make you a true believer. Come. We travel west. Originals called the desert. A place of divine revelation. You said the first family did experiments on you. Made you old. Kept me young. Can we talk about something else? Jade, I've never met them. I don't even know what they look like. If I'm gonna fight them... Eight feet tall with antlers on their heads. Shit, really? No. Listen. The family lives way up there in the sky. They don't like getting their feet dirty. Focus on their factory. That's what's making the miasma angry. We have to destroy it. 
robots taking over the town, telling humans what to do. Can you believe that shit? Coming from a town where humans tell robots what to do? Yeah, it's about damn time. Uh, <laughs> you got me there. But that diesel guy, that class A scumbag. Yeah, I hear that. We should get rid of him. I bet the DRC would like that. Maybe you can talk some sense into him. Robot to robot. You think we got a secret handshake or something? Flesh or steel? An a-hole is an a-hole. Hope this Maxis guy is a real deal. You and him are friends, right? No. I betrayed Maxis. He hates me. Wait, what? Why? It was a time of chaos. The family was hunting and killing the last of the editors. I was forced to choose. Either come to his aid and destroy the factory, or steal you from the tomb to hide you and raise you. His rebellion was crushed. We're walking into the desert to meet a guy with an army who hates you? We'll walk into his camp with open hearts and inspire them to once again rise and fight. That's your plan? I don't need a plan. I have an alpha editor. Come. The rebel camp is east of here. We're on the roof of some building. A monument to the originals, sunk into the sand. They called it the airport. Ah, you thinking what I'm thinking, little brother? Loot? Loot? If I was some big-time alpha editor, why didn't you tell me when I was young? One cannot be told who they are. They must discover it for themselves. So what if I got killed before I discovered it? You're still alive. This proves your power. Feels like I died a few times. Overweight luggage. Looks like they were scared of it, whatever it is. gives an editor a reward, power for your glove, and balance restored. Why'd you name me Elvis? Doesn't sound very badass. I named you after an ancient king. They said this king had magic in his throat. When he sang, all of America cried from joy. I heard Elvis sing once. Definitely made me cry. The magic's in you too, Elvis. Right in the palm of your hand. The miasma tells me this is a safe haven. Safe for who? No one sees the crucified robots hanging on the gate? Crucified collectors. A warning for any machine that tries to enter. Uh, Maxis is gonna be cool with me, right? I got your back, Diggs. We all do. Go away. No visitors. Bamadi does not ask permission. Open the gate. Who'd you say you were? Bamadi. Last of the Baas. Baptized in fire. Chained in pain. Your worst goddamn nightmare. Open the gate. Uh, hold on. Forgive me. Didn't know it was you. Welcome to the Oasis. Maxis is down in the camp. Get goddamn machine out of here. This machine has the heart and courage of a warrior king. Oh, wait! Real editors. Look at those shiny nano gloves. I found this glove in a cave. When I was a kid, been working on it for, I don't know, most of my life. <laughs> Someday I'll turn it on. I want to be an editor too. Do some good in this world. What's your name? Stella Tysto, resident blacksmith, tech geek, all around pain in the butt. I was just a kid when the bots took over the DRC. My parents followed Max's here. We were supposed to regroup and fight back, but 
You know how things go. The editors promised Maxis they destroyed the first family. It disappeared. Maxis decided ordinary people could rise up and fight. That didn't work out so well. Maxis said the editors betrayed us. I think the editors all got killed. Except us, I guess. A little bit of editor in all of us, don't you think? That's why I want to fix this glove. If only I had a replacement nano jack for this glove, could be one back in that cave. But the miasma's been so nasty lately. You think you could grab me a nano jack? Yeah, we'll keep an eye out. Please do. I'll make it worth your while. What, what the hell? That's an old excavator. DG5 model. His name is Diggs. Respect him now, or face my wrath. Bamadi. Maxus Delgado. I take it you're not here to turn our lights back on. I'm here for redemption. It's time we finish this war, Maxus. Join us. I did join you. What good was it? Your oh so holy editors banished. Left us to die. The editors died defending your people. You're still alive. Where were you? Waiting for him. Behold, the Alpha Editor. Huh. You, uh... You want to see that factory burn? I'm the spark that starts the fire. That's not him. Too short. I'll bite me. Uh, definitely not him. Listen to me, dude. I am the Alpha Editor. You see this face, this hand? You see my people? We live in dirt. We don't even have electricity. The bots hijacked our hydro plant. They take great pleasure in squeezing us dry. What if he restored your power and made the light shine once again? I would have no choice but to believe and share the secret to destroying that factory. Like my knight in shining hairspray. Fake it till you make it, Jade. No fake it. Except who you are. If you believe, America will believe. This plant used to generate all the electricity for the DRC. Then it was abandoned. The first factory became self sufficient. I like that old fashioned kind of. What a mess. The family abandoned this place in a hurry. All right, generator output back online. Never seen a dam up close. Looks like first family tech. Better not be in there. Uh, uh, power flow optimized. We got ourselves a working hydro plant. I hope so. Let's see if his lights got turned on. Lights are back on. That's a good sign. You think Maxis is gonna stay true to his word? His word is bond. As always, the Alpha Editor provides. Now, do you believe? Let's say I'm intrigued. You say you want to take down the first factory. Yeah, but we can't do it ourselves. We need an army. You got one? I do. These people don't look like much, but they will fight. Fight and win. Thanks, Maxis. Can they get us inside the factory? No. No army can. The gates are chromium alloy, four feet thick, with gamma locks. But there may be one way to override the gate. The foreman's access card. That card can also overload the portal generator on the factory's top floor, triggering an explosion that can bring the whole evil house down. Whoa, 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 slow down. What's a portal generator? The Alpha Editor doesn't know? Of course he knows. Who has the access card? That mechanical bully, Diesel D, keeps it around his neck at all times. 
You won't be able to get close to him. Not after the ruckus you raised. There's gotta be a way to get his guard down. Meet face to face. I have a spy in the DRC. Beth. She works at the arena. She may know a way. Okay. If we get this card, you can bring your army to the factory gates? You have my word. Alpha Editor. <gasps> Praise be! A nanojack! Thank you so much! From one editor to another. This is gonna make my gloves sing! Here's a little something for your next adventure. Back in the Viper Pit. Look out for Diesel. Don't forget the collectors. Can someone tell me what a portal generator is? It's like a door in the air. A rip in reality. You step through and go someplace far away. Sounds like magic. Science. Dark science. You Beth? I guess. Depends who's asking. Max has sent us. We need to get up close to Diesel D. Well, there is one way. Through the arena. Whoever wins gets a private meet and greet with Diesel. You should talk to Thor Munson at his shop. He's an arena champion. He can help. We need to boost our factory output by 20%. There will be a this, come on. Arena fighting? Does this not sound completely insane? Trust in Big Alpha, okay? We should talk to this Thor guy. It feels right. Diesel wants me to keep chasing down others. Oh, nice. He's gonna give me a chance to fight. Come on. Thor? No more autographs. I'm busy. We need your help. Can't you see I'm with my daughter? She's sick. I'm sorry about that. Guess you know the whole town's sick. We can make things right. If we get your slot in the gauntlet. <laughs> my old bones are begging to quit. But I gotta stay champion. For my daughter. Don't matter how many games I win, though. I ask him for medicine and he gives me moldy cheeseburgers. My girl needs help. I hear there's some ancient healing bottles in that dying place north of here. You give me some antibiotics, I'll give you my slot in the upcoming competition. A dying place? <laughs> no, I don't... Sure, Thor. We'll get you those bottles. Much obliged. But hurry. The games are starting soon. Heard of a dying place. Never seen one, though. You doing okay? Okay. This whole alpha editor thing. Are you remembering anything from your... No. But with all this craziness, us still alive, I'm starting to believe I am this guy. It doesn't feel good. Feels like I'm not human. I don't know about that. You still bleed. You probably still die, too. I better keep saving your butt. Jade, have you gone sweet on me? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe this is one big game and we're all illusions. That's deep. Maybe you're the alpha editor. Uh, so your plan is to heal Thor's daughter, take his spot in the arena battle, win the championship, Party with Diesel, steal the key off his neck, then break into the factory. That's it. Have you actually thought this through at all? Hell no. Who's had time to think? <laughs> uh, myself. Can't wait for the arena. The clash of the gladiators. The roar of the crowd. Bound for glory, huh? That's right. You're not the only one with a destiny. The originals would call this a wild goose chase. This is not the focus I expect from you. Empty your mind, Ba. Trust the instincts of the Alpha Editor. You rose from the dead to destroy the factory, not seek fame in a fighting pit. Remember that prayer you taught me? Turn down the volume of my thoughts. Listen to the whispers of what lies beneath. Whispers that steer my ship towards my personal star. I remember. There you go. 
Listen to my whispers. Helping Thor is the only way to get close to Diesel. Hmm. Student becomes a teacher, huh? Okay, let's get these healing bottles. Save Thor's daughter. This is where originals came to die? Most of them. Only the ones with a special ticket could get the healing bottles. Special ticket? They called it health insurance. A ticket or no ticket, let's grab some bottles for that old man. This place was haunted. I can handle ghosts, but those things are mimics. Much worse. God damn. This my asthma got pretty pissed off. I think Thor's daughter is gonna like these. Never thought I'd say this, but let's get back to the DRC. Here you go, Thor. Healing bottles. Hope these help. You saved her life. Thank you. Here's my battle pass. This will get you in the arena. Why the hell do you want to risk your lives for some game anyway? We're gonna take Diesel D down, then the first factory. Every human here would love to do that. They just need a hero to lead them. Legend says the Alpha Editor's gonna come back and lead us. Hope it's true. Me too. See you around. Sure, we lost this. A circus of blood to distract the masses. We never left. Subbing for Thor Munson, huh? Those are big boots to fill. So, what do we do? Step through this gate and grab your bolts. It's about to get crazy. Listen up. Here are the rules of the gauntlet. To win, you have to survive five brutal rounds of battle. After each round, you have the option to quit, switch your gear up, or continue. You'll be facing down the worst monsters, bots, and bandits this country has ever seen. If you want to be crybabies and quit early, you'll keep your reward. But if you manage to survive all five rounds, You'll get the champion's trophy and a chance to party with your lord and savior, Diesel D. Okay, let's get our battle on! <gasps> Get ready to let the fun! 
you're watching the arena footage? Yes. Simply amazing. We'll send the collectors to retrieve Jade immediately. Uh, forget her. Uh, sir? Her young companion. He's the real prize. My boy is alive. And he's coming home. Diesel D invites you and your friends to his pleasure palace. You get a VIP meet and greet with the big boss himself. Here are the coordinates. Remember, the access card is around his neck. We got to get close to him. What you want, champions? Cheeseburgers? Battery acid? You got it all. I must be tripping. That robo looks like Mayor Mason. Holy shit. That is Mayor Mason. Greetings, champions. Please, enjoy these yummy burgers, courtesy of Diesel D. It is you. No, 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 hold on, hold on. You lying backstabbers. I can't explain. Oh, oh God. Oh, God, a coward like me don't deserve to live. What mayor abandons his town when they need him most? Crush my head. Crush it. Let me charge you spill out all over the floor. Why'd you leave us, asshole? A miasma was gonna kill us all. My robotic bodyguard graciously donated his body, allowing me to escape. Oh, you self-serving creep. I'm a survivor, toots. That's what I do. That data drive you found, it had a list of everything the first family's cooking up. They're making an immortality serum in that factory. I want a taste. I deserve to live forever. Say, you trying to get in that factory too? Maybe we can help each other. I got waylaid by these dumb bucks. They think I'm one of them. You know what, Diggs? Kill him. Wait, 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 wait! That place is a maze, full of deadly traps. You won't know where to turn. But I know. Downloaded the schematics from the drive into my noggin. I'll get you through the factory if you get me out with that serum. I'm your only hope. I'm sick of your lies. He's telling the truth, Alphas. Stop talking to the champion's servant. Do you want me to punish you again? Hold on. We want this robot to come with us. He's, um... He's got some tasty burgers. Very well. This way. Diesel awaits. Haven't seen a burger in years. These probably haven't been cooked in years. Do you want to team up with this creep? No, but we need what's in his head. Where are my champion? DG5. Why didn't you tell me you were fixing to be a champion? Hey, wanted to surprise you, Diesel. Surprise me you did. We could use a brute like you. You know what? You should join our team. Oh, uh, my friends too? Just you, Robo. The flesh bags gotta get euthanized. I don't think they're gonna like that. I don't care what humans think. Because humans don't think. They're sheep. We're the dreamers, Diggs. We're the magic makers. Don't ever forget that. Oh, I won't forget, Diesel. Let me show you something you won't forget. Hey! Put that piece away! Get away from me! Not like this. Freaking cool. Anyone else in here fixing to get shot? Step right up! Whew! That was something! All clear. Let's get that access card off Diesel's neck. That card can open the factory. Destroy it, too. That's our plan. Send the signal, Diggs. Send it. And receive. Maxis and his army will meet us at the gates. The final battle. Just as it was foretold. So this is where Diesel keeps his plastic. Tempting. 
The miasma's closing in. We should hurry. Oh, you hear some kind of miasma whisperer? It whispers to me, or yells incessantly. Maxis and his army will meet us at the factory gate. Prepare for war. This is actually happening. We're taking down the first family. Yeah. Who's leading this army? I am, of course. No, Mayor. They're here for Elvis. They believe in him. They what? Someone catch me up here. There's Maxis. Here we go. Maxis, what is this? I am sorry. My people, all they know is fear. Fear of the family. They won't fight. But I believe in you, Elvis. You fight like an editor. I see that. Ain't this a kick in the teeth? Thanks for nothing, Maxis. I was the foreman of this factory. I know its secrets. Please, let me help you. Huh. Spineless toad. Shut up, Mason. Maxis, we got the access card. What the hell do we do with it? Swipe the card through the slot and prepare for hell. Let's do it quick. My asthma's closing in, eating up the surrounding regions. Factory workers. Some of Diesel's goons. Be careful. You need to take them out! Hurry! They smashed Diesel, and now they're coming for us! Stop whining! I'm not whining! I just want another job. Got him! Maxis, there's no way forward. What's your plan? The first family are absentee landlords. They control this place remotely. So, small details may get overlooked. Like how I still have the code to this bridge. Nice. Is there like a speed up button to this bridge? Just hold on. This is a slow bridge, Maxis. Will you just hold on? is in my head. You trying to trap us, Jarhead? You people got no one left to trust, so trust me, okay? This way. We need to find the elevator. It's up ahead. The door! We're trapped! Open the doors, Jarhead! This isn't me. I don't know what's happening. All trespassers will be neutralized in 20 seconds. Diggs, I think it's time for some door punching. You crazy? That's chromium alloy! The scan is looking for someone to let through. Stand aside! You see me here? I am a government official! Let us out! Ten seconds remaining. Well, shit. It only recognizes first family gene code. No! This doesn't end here, okay? It, it can't end here. Think. Prepare to be neutralized. Three. Two. First family member detected. Jade Zen. My apologies, Jade. Please proceed. You said you were first family? What is this? We should... get going. We should stay right here. You said you were a victim of the first family. <laughs> Experiments. That's the truth, but not the whole truth. My family thought 
Living forever would be good for business. I didn't want to, but my brother Quendel, he betrayed me, forced me to take the serum. He collected nano gloves off dead editors. I stole one, escaped in a collector ship, and crash landed in Happy Valley. Th that ancient ship we rode was your ship? I've been on the run for a long time, trying to teach myself how to use the glove. This is Quindle's factory. Whatever he's making here is pissing off the miasma. I'm here to stop him. I don't care if she's a pimp or a prom queen. She's one of them, the enemy. Elvis, please, look at me. I'm sorry I lied. I I'm still your friend. I'm still your... Mason, the elevator's this way. Elvis, I'm sorry. Why? Because you've been lying to me this whole time? They set the factory to full automation. Hey, Robo. Hello? <sighs> Talk about dedication. Now this is how robots should act. Silent and subservient. My whole life I've been hiding, Elvis. Keeping secrets is what kept me safe. I don't want to hear it. Diggs, we got saddled with some dirty characters. Elvis, watch your anger. Quit talking to me like you're my mama. You never were. Where's this elevator? Got a mama who's not my mama and a brother who's a goddamn machine. Going crazy. Elvis, time is running out. You must accept who you are. Fine, I accept. I'm the Alpha Editor, or Space Jesus, or whatever. We good? This is Deep Factory. Belly of the Beast. Vex Lab around the corner. You're pissing off a bot. Where's the portal generator? Hold on to your pajamas. It's this way, too. More experiments. What was going on back here? Portal room is through this door, but it's locked. Bastard switched the code. Maybe I can override it. Help me find a terminal. Got it. Yes, Mason wins again. Time to live forever. Not on my watch. No, no, man. What are you doing? I'm destroying every last mile. Not this one. This one's mine. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. I feel it. I feel it. I am immortal. Only if someone doesn't kill you. Good thing I'm getting the hell out of here. So long, suckers. You actually think you can survive this factory without us? Hmm. Well, maybe I will allow you to tag along with me to the portal room. Uh, little brother, talk to me. Y you all right? I feel like I'm going crazy. Who can I trust? As the eye can see, Elvis is. You, uh, some kind of test tube freak boy? No. My body found me in the, in the tomb of the Alpha Editor. Right? Keep moving. We're almost to the end. you boy we had one working prototype of the child one working prototype out of a thousand and what happens you let a crazy woman snatch him away do you really think Quindle is gonna let you live you better have your desk cleared and your enviro coffin ready for your imminent departure trial logs none of these experiments lived except one 
I feel sick. What the hell is going on here? Just ignore it, brother. They're trying to mess with your mind. Uh, mission accomplished. and the light for once in your life tell me the truth you didn't find me in some stupid tomb did you did you i no i found you here it was during the war the editors were attacking the factory the miasma led me to this room to you i stole you away brought you to safety so I'm not the Alpha Editor. You are. I mean, they used the Alpha Editor's DNA to create a weapon. And now I'm your weapon? You're a miracle, Elvis. You've proven that time and time again. I'll get ready for another miracle. I'm about to blow these doors open! Collectors! It's a goddamn trap! This is what's making the miasma angry. Not some collectors or serum, but... This. My brother Quendel. He's been trying to build his own Alpha Editor. So what does that make me? Elvis, don't let this distract you. We are so close to... What does that make me?! That's the portal. Our journey ends here. Let's blow that thing up and get the hell out of here. Mason, where's the override port? Checking. Right there. Red slot. Elvis. Elvis. Yeah? You have the access card? Right here. Put it in the slot. End this. to you your whole life. Who the hell? She pretended to be your family. Now she says you have no family. Elvis, ignore him. Put it in the slot. You can't do it, can you? Because you finally know the truth. You found your family. Welcome home, Elvis. You're just like them, telling me who I am. I'm sick of being your puppet. Puppet? No, Elvis, no! You're... you're my son. Oh, now you say it, huh? I'm not your son, you old hag. No! Elvis, no! At long last, I know who I am. What the hell's going on? He has accepted who he truly is. I was so wrong. He was never the Alpha Editor. Who is he? A weapon of pure evil. Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> good, good! Now you know the truth! Now you are unstoppable! Come, Elvis! We have work to do! place we can't get to we missed our chance the portal's gone so we lost that's it we need to get out of here we'll regroup at O'Hara's come on Elvis was a goddamn double agent this whole time yeah, watch your mouth old man I'll kick your bald head in the next week enough we need to get off the streets here are the olds now You return! Did you find Maxis? Did the Alpha Editor defeat the first family? The Alpha Editor... He was captured by... Your brother, Quindle. Speak up, sister! Where did he take Elvis? That ain't Elvis. That's evil Elvis. I don't care! He's the only one that can calm the miasma's anger! Sedentary is gone! The DRC is next! We don't have time! Quendel probably took him to Sky Platform Eru. It's a family command center. Uh, what are we waiting for? Let's start walking. No, Diggs. Sky Platform Eru is a suborbital station above our heads. 200 miles straight up. The only way to get there was through that portal. Uh, one of you must know a way to reach the Alpha Editor. I feel it deep inside. Uh, well... Shit. Uh, what you got, old man? What I got is a bunch of family schematics in my noggin. There's a second portal in a secret research facility north of here. What good's being immortal if you're living in some miasma-soaked nightmare? Let's get the boy. Knock some sense into him. Uh, you heard the dickhead. Let's go! Don't forget who's leading you to that secret portal. <laughs> Me. I'm the hero of this story. You ran out of town and left us to die. You take the shitbag cake, shitbag. I don't go down with the ship. I'm a survivor. I survive. No matter what. That's the coward's way. That's the human way. Something you'll never know. Hey, look in the mirror. You got no heart, no guts, no dick. Why do you think Diesel kept you around? You're a robot. I, I... I don't know what you're talking about. Face facts. You use that boy. You want me to smash that glass and pull out your tongue? Telling Elvis you found him in some magic tomb? Ha! You stole him from the factory. The factory made a clone of the Alpha Editor. Of course I stole him. And I raised him so he could... remember. Redeem us. With all your wisdom, you are so damn clueless. He spent years risking his life just to see your face again. All he wanted was his mama. But you blew it. Elvis's training lacked one vital component, your love. That's why we're here. You couldn't give that boy one goddamn hug. I... I had to do what was... I know what you're thinking. Step up, Mayor. Lead this chicken shit outfit. <laughs> no. I was thinking, how does a head talk with no lungs? So who leads? You? The misfit runaway? The old lady? The broken robot? I got the first family know-how. I am immortal. Face it, Jade. I'm like your new brother. You're not even my creepy uncle. Elvis is our leader. I should have told him that. I should have told him a lot of things. Break time's over. Time to find this damn portal. 
the miasma of anger is growing. We need to hurry. Talk to us, Mason. Where's the secret facility? Get ahead. They trapped the miasma in this pit. Tried to control it. But it was too powerful. Kind of like you controlling Elvis, huh? Trapped him, told him you was his mama. I needed him. We all needed him to end the war, and uh, I don't know. That portal's not gonna put us inside a volcano, is it? It goes to the boy, trust me. But do we kiss him or kill him? Welcome back, Miss Sam. I... Put your hands up, Zarin. Don't say a word. But, Miss Sam... What did I just say? Words are all I have left. Your brother, Quendel, he... murdered his advisors. Sounds like a typical Tuesday for Quen. This is worse. He's gone mad. He wants to kill the family. Please, talk to him. Oh, Zarin. Me and my friends are gonna talk to him real good. This brother of yours... he's tough. He wields the full power of the First Family, so he's... Uh, basically a god? A demon god. Demon god. <sighs> Beautiful. That's him. Quindle. Who's the Grim Reaper by his side? Elvis! Hell no. That boy is long gone. We kill him. We save him. If we all have to die, we save him. How did you get here? With a little help from my friends. You made me friends in the last, say, hundred years, Quendel? Please. When you're part of our family, you're always alone. Unless you've come to join me, rule the family together as brother and sister. Albus, come home. Come home with your mother. Oh, I assure you, editor bitch. Elvis is home. He chooses to be here. Know why? We truly love him. He rocks. He also controls the miasma, which helps me control America. Jade, one last chance. Join me. Mm, I don't know. Diggs, should we join him? Yeah, sure. <laughs> By join, do you mean rip his shit off? you. I'm not what they want, or what you want. What are you doing? No! I'm who I want to be. I choose. I know that now. Elvis, another wasted test tube reject. I'll destroy you, your friends, and your little nothing town. No! You're nothing but a redneck magician with a with a mommy complex. Die! Mom. 
Come. Glad you're back, little bro. Yeah. Thanks for not destroying the universe. and return this country to normal. Your sick experiments made the miasma crazy. You started this mess. And I'll finish it. Goodbye, sis. Station, initiate self-destruct protocol. User not recognized. This is Quendal Zen. Initiate self-destruct. User not recognized. That the self-destruct protocol? Worse. That's my uncle. Jade. Uncle Romulus? You've been... away. For 85 years. Running from Quendal. Quendal? I was a fool to put the southern region in the hands of that lunatic. Return him to me, and your absence will be forgiven. You're going to kill him? Kill him? No, they'll think I've lost control. And I never lose control. You lost my town, sedentary. Starting today, no more gold, no more quotas. This is family business, Editor. And you are not family. Maybe so. But the fate of your family is in my fingers. A deal, then. You want Quendal? Leave their town alone. So be it. Come home, Jade. Your adventure has come to an end. It's just beginning, Uncle Rom. My friends are my family now. See you next century. Far below us, the first factory is exploding, crumbling, ending its reign of terror. The humans and robots of the DRC were equally sick and tired of being sick and tired. So they formed a truce to take down their mutual oppressor. And the storms recede, revealing the plains, swamps and forests of the American South. Fresh air flushes out the poison. Nature chases away the nightmares. Sedentary is safe again. The people return home to reclaim their lives, embrace their families. But their peace is short-lived. A first family airship descends. They have no goal to appease the tyrants. They clutch each other, waiting to die. The doors open, revealing... Us. Bamari. Mason. Jade. Diggs. Elvis. Five broken warriors who can now call themselves a team. Our wounds are mended, our sins forgiven. We celebrate the past and prepare for the future. The rebirth of the editors starts now. We teach the townspeople to build their own nanogloves link them to their brain waves, and harness the power that will heal the miasma. Here, we start to build a new America, where truth will trample lies and hope will trump despair. We know the first family is watching us, planning their next move. 
We know their wickedness will cause the miasma to return, angrier than ever. But you don't fear the miasma, my son. That's good. You can't escape it. So hold your ground. Defend your home. I can do this. I can do this. Oh, my God. 